Assalamualaikum and good day to everyone. My name is PP Alina Tashadaim and I am the representative of Group 6 to present out our box of knowledge that called Fun Learning Box. In this group, we have 10 members which is Chao Hanlin, Tan Yong Yong, Nur Farah Shahira binti Harun, Nur Atika binti Jamal, Muhammad Afikal Azwan, Nadira Natalia binti Awang Jaya, Natali Monika Sugi, Rabiatul Adawiyah Hafanan, Azmi bin Saidan and myself. For our project, we have six activity that we portray in our box of knowledge. Number one, memorizing ABC with music. Number two, mathematical solution. Number three, syllable dice. Number four, puzzle game. Number five, boy human body. And the last one, traditional dance puzzle. My name is Tan Yong Yong, matrix number is BB21161199. The first activity that we include is memorizing ABC with music. First, we use Manila card, double tap, and children poster to make the ABC and use small jars and table to make the maracas. To make it look pretty and good, we spray it with black color and color it with yellow to make it look more artistic. We aim it to be used in the English or Malay lecture in the kindergarten. The purpose of this activity is to help students in the kindergarten to have fun while learning in class and using the Americas to play along with the teacher. The second activity is called Puzzle Game. For this activity, we use some A4 papers and print out some pictures in various elements such as animals, food, and also fruit. We also buy some puzzle to stick the print pictures on it using the glue stick. We aim it to be used also in English or Malay or art lecture in the kindergarten. The purpose of this activity is to help students in the kindergarten in their development of thinking problem solving and to help them recognize the problem in order to solve it quickly. The third activity is syllable dice. For this one, we use boxes cut into four sides and stick it together using the tap and wrap it with the colored paper. To draw the syllab syllable, we use marker pen on it. We aim it to be used in English or Malay lecture in kindergarten. In the kindergarten. The purpose of this activity is to help the student in the kindergarten to recognize the letter or the syllable and also to make learning enjoyable. Considering their young age and need to be entertained, especially on learning in school. The fourth activity is called Mathematical Solutions. For this activity, we use colored paper and cut it into the shape of a rectangle. And then, to write down the mathematical problems, we used permanent marker pen so it would look simple and it would be easier for the students to understand. We wish for it to be used during mathematic classes in the kindergarten that we visited. The goal of this activity is to encourage students to like and adore math and to become more involved with numbers. This can also assist students in remembering mathematic issues and solving them with ease.
The fifth activity for the project is human body. For this activity, we use some Manila card, double tape, and children's posters. We cut the children's posters consistent of human body and tape it on the Manila card. In order to make it more interesting, we arranged the picture randomly, so it would not look so boring and not inter- entertaining. We aim it to be used. On science literature in the kindergarten, the purpose of this activity is to help stu- students recognize human body and knowing each of the function and help them to be more activity involved. In science subjects, this activity can also help the student to be more interested on science. As well as they might look forward to be more involved on science in the near future. The last activity on our fun learning box is traditional dance puzzle. For this activity, we use some colored paper, printed pictures of traditional dance in Malaysia, and some markers to write the name of the dance. To stick the picture on the colored paper, we use some double tap on it. We aim it to be used on the art lecture in the kindergarten. The purpose on this one is to let the student in the kindergarten to be exposed on the local culture as a Malaysian. This will help to grow their knowledge in Malaysia culture and also help them to appreciate our country even more. In conclusion, our box of knowledge with the title Fun Learning Box is created to aim learning fun involving students in the kindergarten and to let them get more knowledge and be more expressive towards their teachers about their comments on the box that we made for them. We hope that this project can be useful not only in the present time but also in the future where many children can have fun while learning on school instead of sitting tightly on their chair hearing the lecture given on the blackboard or whiteboard. In the saying, this will be the end of our presentation on our project. Thanks for listening to us. Assalamualaikum and goodbye everyone. Nevertheless, we also want to thank you to our lecturer Siti Rabaya who guide us through the process and all our members in group 6 that contribute in the project. Many thanks to Tariqa Al-Hakim for giving us chance to conduct the activity in their school. We hope to have the opportunity to implant such activity in the future. Thank you so much everyone.